Hi, this is Tom Drogi from Stamp Auction Network, and today I want to show you a new feature that uses the Stamp Auction Network database and image matching software to assist in the valuation of a stamp or cover. With this tool, you can find out if it has been sold before, by whom, and at what price. Even if you only know how much you paid for it, you can see how it ranks in quality with similar stamps and covers sold at auction. We go back 30 years for U.S. stamps, so odds are we'll be able to find your stamp or something very similar to it. Let me start by showing you how it works. So once you're logged in and sitting at Stamp Auction Network, let's just make sure you're there, so click on the Stamp Auction Network logo. If you go down to My SAN and look at My Stamp Auction Network Collection, this is where you can enter your own items into your collection. So I'm going to go here. Now when you first go in, it's going to include all of the lots that you've purchased. So if you just want to work with items that you're adding, you just want to press the Only Ads button. Okay, now I didn't actually buy this stamp, but someone asked me to post it in here, so I did so. So we have that in our database. So to add an item to your collection for review, you press the Add button. So I'm going to do that, and here's your data entry screen. So all you've got to do is put in something for each of these values. I'm going to put in this stamp here. I want to show it to you. It's uh, 186 used with the north-south cancellation. So I'm going to um, drag that image over here. So there's my image. I just had it in my, my images. And I'm going to type in the catalog number, 186. Now it's real important that you indicate its format, whether it's mint never hinged, hinged, used, I mean unused with no gum, or used. This is a used stamp, and I can put in here anything else. It's 186 with north, south, um, handshake. Okay, and then you put in the price that you paid. If you don't remember what you paid for it, you need to at least put in $100 so it'll calculated. It doesn't do the analysis on anything less than $100. And then I just hit submit. Now then you're going to see it in your list and it's sitting there waiting. It's going to take a little while for it to get calculated so just like the cooking shows we'll be back in a minute. Okay I'm back now. I'm showing you a little bit about what goes on behind the scenes. So what's happened is that my stamp has been compared against every other stamp out there and it pulls them up side by side and we go through and determine if they are a match. So this is a match. Now these are not, notice it comparing other stamps that it found similar. This is not a match, these are not a match, these are not a match. Okay, so the system found a match and now I'm going to just get back with you and finish the calculations. Now I realized I made a mistake when I entered this in. I actually put in the wrong value. It should have been $950. So I changed the price now and I'm putting resubmit to iCompare so it can recalculate it again. And uh, I'll be right back. Okay, give us about 24 hours to evaluate your stamp and match it up against the database. But when you come back, you'll be able to see here's, here's the results of my submission of the stamp. It actually turned out that that is, has been sold before. It was sold at the Robert Siegel auction in 2009 where it realized $2,600. And it also sold at the Cherry Stone sale in 2020 for $2,420. So that's how it works. Um, it's a great tool to evaluate your stamps, see how they rank against each other, to prepare for consigning your material for sale and also just to track how well you think your stamp matches up to others of its kind. Uh, when you're here, the provenance, census provenance will show you all the similar stamps ranked by sales price. And there we can see the one I just submitted right here. It'll be called In Private Collections. And by the way, I wanna remind everyone that we never sell your information to anyone we don't make it available in in any format without your permission and so far we've only a couple times asked a few people if they would like us to um, 
ma make a match with someone who's looking for a particular stamp. But that's not something we do at Stamp Auction Network. We're going to be revising our um, terms and conditions to more clearly state that. But you can feel comfortable knowing that um, we're not going to use this information to violate your privacy in any way. Anyway, thanks for a great time here at Stamp Auction Network. I want to show you this new feature. Hope you find it useful. Thanks. Bye now.